Hi, welcome back. Uh, we, the Sister Stitchers, are here to show off some packages that we got. Um, so we're going to do that real quick. And at the end, I'm going to add my fine, the final parts of my Stitch Mania plans. And then um, that's it for the video today. And we'll go ahead and get started. Our packages came from the Silver Needle. In May, they have this thing called May Daily Treats. Um, and the May Daily Treats, are Monday through Friday. It's the first people who purchase them um, for whatever that treat is that day. And then we, and then they send them off. Uh, and we just happened, we got two different treats, but they happened to arrive at the same time. We both got our packages today and we're super excited. Lindsay's going to go first and show off what she got. She hasn't seen it yet. I, I kind of peeked, I cheated, but she hasn't seen hers yet. And so this will be all new for her. Go Lindsay. Hi everybody. Um, yes, I got two grab bags, um, the silver needle. Um, Heidi called me and she said, I already bought stuff, so I can't buy any more, but you really, really want these. And so they were $10 and they have um, $100 worth of stuff in them. Here's and one of the bags and it's fit. And here's the other bag. It's very thin, so I'm excited to see what we have. Okay, and <laughs> first thing I see is a little box, and it says Smidgens of Color Floppy Bunny. Am I saying it wrong? I don't know. Okay, um, Busy Creations Inc. So, what the Silver Needle does, they're in Oklahoma. For these grab bags, they save things for years. So this, they don't offer this every year um, because it takes them years to gather it. So this looks like a little kit, and this looks like a little jewelry box that you would put your stitched stuff. This is super cute. It's kind of like a, it's a wood, it has a wood grain, but it's kind of like a salmon coral color. It's very pretty, very gorgeous. Wow, and then it looks like it has a full kit, um, and there's a needle, and I can see the charts in there. So that is really awesome. That makes me excited. The picture. Show the picture again. I didn't see it for very long. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is. That's the pa stitch pattern, probably. Yeah, but I'm not sure what it is of. Is that an owl? I don't know either. You don't know. I'll have to look at it. Floppy bunny. Is it a bunny? It's very, very small, so it's hard to see. Um, I think it's a bee on a flower, maybe. It says it's a floppy bunny. Well, well, anyways, that is super cute. I'm totally keeping it, Heidi. Sorry. No problem. Some of this she's going to probably end up with since I got two. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Look at this! These are so many. Ah, they're gonna wow. So many charts. I'll just go through them quickly so we don't have you forever. Um, this one says sisters. Aw, hi, it's the sisters. <laughs> oh, how cute. Sisters and best friends, Floyd. It includes the graph instruction beads and buttons. Oh look there's beads. I have yeah. no clue how to stitch with beads but we'll learn. Costume, I'll figure it out. There's a picture. Oh it's so cute. Okay. Sorry. I'm supposed to go back. I forgot. Santa scissors sheath. This is cute. So it, it looks like it holds, sorry about the glare. It's gonna hold scissors. Oh look it's little Santa. So cute. Oh look, it has the little in the back the little that's cute. Okay, the next one is autumn pumpkins. I've been looking at autumn stuff, that's my favorite season. This is by Scissor Tell Designs, Autumn Pumpkins. Um can you Ooh, see it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like there's three designs. Two. There's two designs. 
so you could do um, yeah there's two okay this one this is also a kit with the stuff in it this one does not look like it's a kit it looks like it's just a pattern um and it's another christmas pattern oh that's cute little angels yeah okay <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I'm over here. <laughs> Colonial Christmas, a hanging pocket. That's cute. Um, homespun elegant. Can you see it? It's like a little pouch or pocket, I guess. Uh, that glare is horrible. So that's cute. I like that, like, lace stuff around it. Um... Early style alphabet pillow pen key. This is by Stacy Nash Primitives. Um, has the alphabet. Okay, here's the back. This is, I guess, the finished part of the finish. Okay. Heidi, there's so much. There's so much more. Wow. Okay, this is a female art and original design by Ellen Chester. Um, female art and usefulness, the needle far exceeds the rest. So it's like, you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think this is just a pattern, also, no threads. Um, wow, these things are so cute. I love how professional they all are it's better i mean it's nicer than a pdf you can hold it and i'm really enjoying that the ties that bind a collaboration design part two it's a really cute little quote um and it looks like one side's darker than the other yeah so that's pretty cute it has a nice stitching quote on it Aw, all right. Here's another one. This is by Lily Bell. It's an April sampler. How cute. How cute. Yeah. That's cute. All right, and the last one. So this is obviously well worth $10, especially I know some of these patterns are more than $10 just by themselves. Um, and I got, I mean, that's like a lot of patterns. This is the last one. And it's more like writing quotes and stuff. I'm not going to read it all. What is it? Carriage house samplings? Yes. Oh. Carriage house sampling. And it looks like there's two, two different patterns there. Or this is one and then up here. That's part of. It's like down here. Yeah. 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 So that's cute. That feels pretty thick. Like there might be fabric or something else in there. Not, I don't think there's threads, but maybe fabric. That's the first one. What do you think, Heidi? That's awesome. That's awesome. Did well, you see anything that you would really, really want? Probably. I think this box was my favorite. The box is your favorite? Nice. Yeah, that is so cool how it's like a jewelry box, too. I really like that. And I think the scissor sheath. The Santa one? Those are cute. That's cute. That is. And I think this autumn one. I've been looking at all the autumn. Oh, yes. That one's. Oh, yeah. You got some good ones. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Nice package. Let's see. Do you want to see yours? And then we'll see number two of mine. Okay, for me, I ordered the day before, and I went ahead, um, last year, I was nine months pregnant, and I had just learned about the Silver Needle, needle and their main treats, and I just, kept, like, I was struggling to justify purchasing anything, especially since I was about to be out of work for six weeks and everything, so I didn't purchase anything, and there was one design that stuck in my head the entire year, and I should just go and 
purchase it. I don't know why I haven't. I just haven't. I was like, oh, I missed out on that one deal. And so this year they had the sweetheart tree package or they had a package deal. And so they sent you a random bundle um, from the sweetheart tree. And so I'm going to go through my little bundle that I got. And it, it was completely random, obviously. This first one is my little tooth fairy pillow and i'll read you the quote after i show it off it says it says little fairy come and see in this pocket my tooth will be take it out but please be kind a little something leave behind so that's so cute i might actually have it finished before my son starts losing teeth which would be nice <laughs> so that's super cute um i got an ornament chart and it came with the little charm uh, the little light charms that are right there on the bottom for finishing and it says honest Santa I didn't do it <laughs> and then uh, tea is for tea time uh, glare 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 uh, let's see if I can get it out this case is really neat it came in a plastic case um, with the fabric and the needle and uh, some threads. I think all, almost all of these, this, the pillow came with thread. This one came with it. Let's see if I can get the picture out. Sorry. I just opened mine too. I was supposed to not peek, but I peeked because I was really excited to see what I got. Tea is for tea time. Yeah. Okay, and then um, the last one, and this was the one I was really excited about. I really wanted a band sampler from uh, the Sweetheart Tree, so I was hoping, I was really hoping for a band sampler, and they definitely sent me one of my favorite ones that I've seen around, and I wanted to try it out, and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. It is a Strawberry Fair sampler, so... That's the band sampler that I need so bad, and I got it. So I was pretty excited. Um, it's like they read my mind. Oh, people up in Oklahoma are reading my mind way down here. So uh, that was a lot of glare. So I'm going to show it to you again without the glare. I can't wait to start this. And of course, Stitch Mania just ended, and I don't have time to start things, but it's going to come in the rotation probably by the end of the year because I'm excited about that one. So. Yay, that's what I got. All right, Lindsay, you ready for your next package? I am. Okay. So, I opened it up while Heidi was talking. I couldn't help it either. But it's a whole bunch more patterns. Look at all these patterns. This is, I'm going from like zero patterns to so many patterns. Look at all these. Oh my gosh. So worth it. Okay, we'll go through these also quickly. This is another one from Sisters and Best Friends. It says, find my keys. I found my glasses. Now maybe I can find my keys. Maybe I can see my keys. And it's so cute. And y'all, check this out. Look, it comes with a little key. Is that adorable? Oh, man. All right, this one is from With Humble Heart, and it looks like an alphabet, a number sampler. Very small there. That's cute. That's like a little fruit bowl in the middle. This is Total Creek Farm. Pumpkin Love. Oh, it's more autumn stuff. I am all about fall and Halloween. That's when my wedding, my anniversary is. It's so fun. That and Christmas. Speaking of Christmas. That's funny. Autumn is my favorite season. Is it? Yeah, it is. It really, I love the fall colors and yes. leaves and everything. That's cute. I can see stitching this, though. <laughs> That's cute. And it has, it has a little button, star button. This one says shenanigans. Noel. He's cute. Oh, there. That is cute. 
I love this next one. Oh my gosh. This can be used for so many things. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so pretty much, it's just a card. I can't show you the back, the patterns on the back, but pretty much it's these symbols. You yes. can put them into any order. This, mm -hmm, that's going places in my house. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Stitcher's Ornament. Um, it's really cute. It has all kinds of like, like stitching stuff, like a hoop, and scissors, so that's a pin, cushion, and then they're little ornaments. I like that. That seems pretty cute. This is a full kit. It has the thread. Bothy. Nice. What, Heidi? Oh, I, I saw Bothy threads. I've been looking at their patterns lately. <laughs> I like them. You'll get really good at backstitching. What kind of thread is it? No, it's the company. It's the designer. Bothy thread at the very top. Oh. Look at the top of the front. Okay. Bothy threads. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I've been looking at their patterns. I, I'm interested and intrigued, and so, yes. Well, maybe this one will end up at your house. <laughs> Just me. You don't like how to backstitch. I don't like backstitch. Yes, you do. You love it. Here's the, another Christmas one. Oh, that's cute. cute. Just add tinsel. Those are cute. There's several. That's cute. And the last one is the 4th of July. Wait, I read the wrong thing. It's a snow people. This is one from the monthly snow people series. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I think I've seen that one before. That's, that one's cute. It has um, the little bead set in here. And it's nice. So that's what we have. Um, some of these I absolutely love. Some, eh, not so much. Some Heidi, I can tell, like. And maybe the ones that neither of us like will end up with one of you subscribers. So this is so worth it. If you guys are around in a few years and the Silver Nevil does this grab bag again, I don't regret it at all. That has so many patterns. I could I could do Stitch Mania. It's the 20th. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> no, there's too much. That's too scary. You can save up for next year, though. Yeah. Um, this is crazy. Look at all this stuff. I can't believe it. It feels like Christmas. And then there's Christmas stuff and so it feels like Christmas. <laughs> what could be better? What could be better? Okay, so that's my, um, what do we call these? A stash update type of haul, my haul. Um, yeah, so exciting. Awesome. Okay, well, next up is going to be my Stitch Mania plans, or what I had done in Stitch Mania. That was recorded a couple of days ago. We got really busy, and so we couldn't finish recording, so we'll just add it on oh, to the end. Here. Notes. Okay, yes. Stitch Mania um, is over. <laughs> Yay. I, um, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. However, um, it was a lot of work, and it I was just, I was starting to get um, stressed out. I was, it was starting to stress me out. Uh, I think I, my max is 10, 10 new whips, and when I the last five were really hard because it just was. I don't even know why. It it just was. In fact, I even did easy ones, and I was still like, what's going on? Okay, so <laughs> on the 8th, May 8th, this is the beginnings of Lobster Bouquet by Ink Circles. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, that's the beginnings. It's 
about that big. It goes, I went from width to width and um, each at the height. I just need to fill in the sections. It's a free pattern on Ink Circle's website. Um, I'm doing this project. It's on a chocolate, chocolate 25 count Jobelin, or no, Lugana, 25 Lugana. I'm doing this mainly for this. Needlepoint silks. Needlepoint silks is what Chatelaines call for for their silks and I had no idea if I really wanted to spend the extra money on silks because I plan on doing Chatelaine next year. So I was like do I pay the extra money for it or not? Do I plan for that? Um, I don't even know if they're that much greater than, um, than DMC. So this is my project to try out Needlepoint silks. I like Dinky Dyes more so far. Um, then on 9, I continued on with my Advent Animals. This is number 22, the, pa uh, the panda. Uh, yeah, two lines. I was really tired that day. I was really tired all, all week. I haven't, my son was sick, and then I got congested and sick, and it's just, yeah. So, that was our panda. On the 10th, I did this at work during my conference, because I knew I didn't have any time afterwards. Um, this is Mill Hill's trumpet, and here's my start on the trumpet. So, yay, Mill Hill kits. I'm going to have a nice set of ornaments when I'm finished with these, that's for sure. Then, on the 11th, my son was sick, and he slept, like, all day, it felt like. And I got to work on my Mirabilia. So this is Maidens of the Season 1, and I had started on the 11th, the summer. I started summer, so, which is the pink, the pink lady. And so that's what I've got started on her dress. I'm working up this time. I plan on doing their skin one over one. Um, that'll be fun. So that's Mirabilia, Maidens of the Season. Then, on the 12th, I started working on a Biscornu that I had bought last summer. Um, I think this, thing, this is beautiful, and this is the beginnings of that. I really was just doing the frame to see if I can fit, how I was going to fit the two on there and make sure I left myself plenty of room. So that's the first frame. Um, and yeah, not a whole lot there. In fact, they're not even full crosses yet. They're all half. Um, half crosses. I need to go back over it again to get full crosses. Again, not a lot of time. Um, I'm. I need my normal rotation to come back because. Whew. Then on Friday the 13th, I started um, Black Cat and Pumpkin by Dames of the Needle, and I'm doing this on grape. Grape ice or grape? I don't know. Um, it's a, another Lugana 28 count. And so that's the beginning of that. This whole project is done in Week Style Works. Um, no, I lied. Week Style Works and um, Gentle Arts. So no DMC in this project, which it's fun. I like doing. I like using some specialty stitches. Then on the 14th, we went out of town. We went camping. Um, well, kind of camping. We went to cabins. It's not real camping. Real camping is a tent, and you backpack out there and stuff. But um, we went out. We went to cabins. I still had a shower and all that good stuff and running water. So it's not real camping. But um, if it was real camping, I wouldn't take me to work with me. Uh, I started New Delhi's bot. Um, so this is Clouds Factory postcards around the world. I was talking about this earlier. I have no idea what I'm doing with this piece. Please tell me what I'm doing with this piece. Um, I was keeping up really well up until March, and then April hit, and I got behind because of the Heaven and Earth Challenge, and I was like, yeah, I'll catch up, I'll make it up later, it'll be all good, and then Stitch Mania hit, and so here I am for Stitch Mania, I got my start on New Delhi, and then... I had this frame already done. So these frames weren't done. This frame was not done. That's part of my start. <laughs> and while I was camping, I did that. Um, and then I did a little bit more white. I got all the white done from Moscow over here. And I started the blue. And then I said, hey, it's now May. So I should come over to May and finish this up. Or at least start this. 
and so it can count it for a start as well. Um, I have some catching up to do. I will catch up with it after the Heaven and Earth Challenge is done. And then finally on the 15th, we got home. I was tired. We had a lot going on. Um, we had so many appointments and things to take care of on Sunday. I saved my meal hill, uh, my last meal hill kit for that for the 15th with a violin. And I got the start on my violin. And those are my Stitch Mania starts. Yay! Um, I'll do it again next year. I, I got to tell you, I, was, I felt overwhelmed. I, I think it's just because a lot was going on. So that's where Stitch Mania is at. And um, yeah, it was fun. I'm ready for my normal rotation again. And so you'll be seeing my heaven and earth the next time we record for sure because that's all I'm working on for the rest of May or at least until the challenge is done. And then I'll go back into a normal uh, seven-day rotation, although I'm thinking about a four-day rotation right now. Um, but it'll definitely be something more than a day. I can't handle just a day on a piece. Uh, and that's all I have. See you later.